Why were Tron Legacy's VFX so realistic? Well, a massive factor of this is that, despite its grand sci-fi design, Tron was one of those films that still prioritized having practical effects and then just overlaying those with CGI enhancements. For example, here they built this entire set for Kevin Flynn's house, littering this room with these massive neon panels to create this aesthetic neon layout. Or, even more impressively, seeing as this film was from the era where full CGI costumes were considered a good idea, Tron instead went in a completely different direction and actually built these fully functional practical glowing suits, with their poor prop designers having the impossible task of interweaving these neon lines throughout them, whilst also keeping them flexible enough for the actors to actually be able to perform in. But now, of course there were still major sequences in this film that were crammed full of CGI, but with so many of them being shrouded in the darkness of the Tron simulation, it's a lot harder for our brains to pick holes in them, so we just accept them as real.